Pancake everyone! Our society is constantly evolving. Every year more and more unusual technologies emerge, some of which almost seem like magic. Curious to know what we're talking about? Let's take a look. Ancient people believed that every natural phenomenon, whether it be wind, rain, earthquake, had its own spirit or deity. For instance, when crops were threatened by drought, they would appeal to the rain god through songs, dances and sometimes sacrifices to persuade them to bring water to the fields. Later, science fiction writers picked up the idea of weather manipulation, but not through negotiations with gods, but through technological advancements. It wasn't long before this became a reality. In the mid-20th century, scientists developed a technology called cloud seeding. Active physical and chemical interaction with clouds induces changes in their phase state. This allows precipitation to be triggered or even clouds to be dispersed without precipitation. Given that this technology has been around for over half a century, it's unlikely to surprise you. But what if we told you that clouds can not only be dispersed, but also created? The cloud seeding project in Dubai successfully proved this. For the past 10 years, scientists here have been creating clouds. They do this using salt, which is shot from cannons mounted on airplanes. Salt crystals attract tiny water particles that, when they combine, become heavier and eventually fall as precipitation. Since the country is located in a desert climate, this technology is essential. So, weather manipulation is no longer just the fantasy of science fiction writers, but a serious scientific endeavor. In our times of global climate change, it becomes particularly relevant. In 2015, two American engineers patented an unusual invention. A sonic fire extinguisher. We all know about extinguishing fires with water, foam, various powders and gases. But Viet Tran and Seth Robertson, students at George Mason University in Virginia, developed a fire extinguisher that doesn't use any extinguishing agents. It relies solely on low-frequency sound waves. The technology is based on the following process. According to the fire triangle, fire needs an oxidizer, oxygen. The device invented by the students uses music at low frequencies, around 30 to 60 Hz, to prevent oxygen from feeding the fire. The flames are suffocated. The efficiency of this system didn't seem suitable for extinguishing anything larger than a burning pan or a similarly sized object. However, the concept's authors promised to refine the design in the future to make it capable of dealing with larger fire sources. While the world was waiting for updates from them, Sonic fire extinguisher technology was actively developed by scientists from all around the world, including Russia. Researchers from the T.S. Maltsev Kugan State Agricultural Academy developed a sonic fire extinguisher that stands out from foreign counterparts due to shorter extinguishing times for flames at identical energy consumption. Additionally, this enhanced device is now suitable for extinguishing larger fires. Unlike other firefighting agents, it won't damage documents during flame suppression, such as in archives or goods during warehouse fires. Moreover, there's no need for cleanup after use. It's almost like magic. The fire literally dies down before your eyes. In the science fiction movie Avatar, the world is filled with bioluminescent jungles. Scientists were inspired by the idea of glowing foliage and were even able to replicate it in the real world. It all started at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. A group of students and professors achieved significant progress in this field. They managed to illuminate plants through genetic manipulation. However, the light emitted only lasted a short while, fading after just three hours. Then, an international team led by the Moscow biotechnology startup Planter and the Russian Academy of Sciences conducted further research in this area. They soon published a report indicating the possibility of genetically modifying almost any plant species to make them glow throughout their life cycle. While trees that could replace streetlights are still a fantasy, the results obtained by this international group of scientists could be used to create decorative plants that glow in the dark and are accessible to a wide audience. Now, scientists are working on other upgrades such as the ability of plants to change their brightness or color based on environmental conditions. A significant amount of natural resources goes into producing each sheet of paper. Even using just one sheet can have a considerable impact on the environment. First, 
a tree must be felled, depriving the air of its purifying capacity. Then, energy is required, emitting toxic substances into the atmosphere. Ultimately, paper production consumes large amounts of water. Responsible paper usage behavior can help us reduce our negative impact on the environment. Researchers at the Nanyang Technological University in Singapore pondered this issue. They devised a new type of paper that can be reused for printing at least eight times. This paper isn't made from wood pulp, but from pollen. The researchers demonstrated that you can print even high-resolution color images using a laser printer on this paper and then erase the prints using an alkaline solution. The toner is removed completely without damaging the paper. The authors claim that pollen paper is not allergenic and hope to start mass production this year. We've already discussed printing on paper, and you're likely aware of 3D printers. This technology has been around for a while. Plastic figurines can be easily printed at copy centers in major cities. But what if we print with entirely different materials? Israeli scientists from Ben-Gurion University and the Technion Institute developed a device that creates copies of coral to replace dead ones. About a quarter of all marine species inhabit coral reefs, which have rapidly deteriorated in recent years. The reef area has halved in size over the past half century. Therefore, such a printer is urgently needed. Instead of regular plastic filament, terracotta clay is used for printing. Due to its porous structure, coral algae can easily grow on it. Experiments in the Red Sea show that many fish have already accepted and begun to inhabit artificial reefs. In the 1987 film Star Trek, 3D printers were predicted, but not the usual kind. They instantly printed food on the Starship Enterprise. In 2018, the New York-based organization Matashift announced the development of special membranes based on carbon nanotubes, which could separate and combine molecules. These membranes would enable the creation of virtually any object or material from a set of molecular blocks. Using existing technologies, it's already possible to create cakes, pancakes and even meat. For instance, to produce a piece of beef, scientists grow cow cells in bioreactors, induce their multiplication and then print a steak or cutlet from the resulting material. This ethically produced food can also be functional if vitamins and minerals missing for a specific individual are added to the dish. However, cultivated meat is currently a thousand times more expensive than regular meat and is unlikely to become popular unless scientists find ways to reduce its cost. The first cultivated meat burger released in 2013 cost $325,000. In several countries, 3D printing technology is being incorporated into the medical field. Scientists have learned to recreate sections of living tissue using this technique, which is successfully used for testing medications. Furthermore, researchers are also working on the technology to print viable organs that could be used as donor organs in surgeries. Since its inception, 3D printing of human organs has undergone significant changes. It involves special cartridges filled with a suspension of living human cells and a smart gel that provides structure and creates biological tissue. During printing, the gel is cooled and washed away, leaving only the cells. This enables the reproduction of test models of organs, though challenges remain regarding their natural functionality. Once these hurdles are overcome, people will no longer need to worry about waiting for donors. A true revolution is on the horizon that will completely transform the field of transplantation. Scientists from the California startup Travelmate Robotics have found an interesting solution for those tired of logging heavy bags. Now they will follow you on their own. They've integrated a robot and propulsion system into an ordinary suitcase, allowing it to follow its owner like a loyal pet. It can roll both vertically and horizontally, reaching speeds of up to 10 km per hour, keeping pace with someone running late for a flight. This super suitcase is equipped with a GPS system and anti-theft protection. It locks the wheels and sends an alert if a theft attempt is detected. It can hold a charge for about 4 hours, and its battery is easily rechargeable through USB ports or a regular socket. Imagine a suitcase that literally walks alongside you. It's a truly remarkable technological achievement that until recently seemed incredible. Now it's becoming a reality. 
scientists are constantly working on new methods of charging devices. One intriguing avenue is charging via Wi-Fi. Instead of plugging a device into a cord, it could receive energy through wireless networks. The so-called wireless charging we currently have actually involves connecting to a regular socket and establishing contact to receive energy. This, however, is an entirely different technology. It could allow devices to automatically draw energy from the environment, which would be especially useful for devices that need to be moved around a room. This approach could make our lives more convenient, as it eliminates the need for constant socket connections. A team of scientists from George Washington University is actively testing the technology called Power over Wi-Fi. They've developed prototypes of temperature sensors that are powered by Wi-Fi modules from a distance of 6 meters. The technology also demonstrates the ability to wirelessly charge small nickel metal hydride and lithium iron button cell batteries, often referred to as watch batteries or coin cells. Moreover, the power over Wi-Fi technology can be used with existing routers and doesn't interfere with data transmission. Developers talk about optimizing routers through standard firmware, enabling them to charge batteries through the air. This functionality barely affects the speed and stability of the wireless internet connection. So it's quite possible that in the near future, we'll be able to charge our phones through the air. At the Consumer Electronics Show CES in Las Vegas, the BMW Group presented a spectacular prototype of a digital car of the future. Its body is entirely covered in e-ink electronic paper, which allows for a complete transformation of the car's appearance. Millions of microcapsules with a diameter thinner than a human hair, responsive to electrical signals, enable the color-changing ability of the car's body. The body is divided into 240 segments, each having its own display, capable of changing images independently of others. This permits the creation of an infinite number of patterns that can be altered in a matter of seconds. The e-paper film applied to the car's surface can display up to 32 different colors and is controlled by just one button. The BMW RX Flow concept car can instantly transform from white to black and vice versa, as well as other colors. It's like a chameleon car. Online, people are joking that it's the perfect vehicle to escape the pursuit. Developers clarified that they didn't create this technology solely for the sake of aesthetics or the ability to change colors according to mood. Many advantages were taken into account, including the various properties of light and dark tones in terms of reflection and absorption of light and heat. For instance, during cooler weather, a dark finish will help the car absorb more sunlight, and if the car needs to be parked in the sun, changing the body color to a lighter shade can help reduce heating. What if we could record our dreams and then play them back on a computer, or even better, through virtual reality glasses? A group of Japanese scientists pondered this question and decided to use neurovisualization technology to identify the relationship between brain activity and dreams. By scanning the brain of a sleeping person, they seem to have succeeded in decoding the visual content of dreams. While the technology doesn't yet allow for a recording of dreams as if one were experiencing them in first person, it does enable the association of images. As the technology improves, it's expected that the results will become more accurate. So how does all this work? Scientists gathered volunteers willing to sleep inside a magnetic resonance imaging machine, which measured brain activity by tracking changes in blood flow in different brain regions. Once the volunteers fell asleep, they were awakened and asked about the last thing they saw in their dreams. By correlating this information, Researchers began creating a database that included brain activity levels, their locations and the images the participants saw in their dreams. With more data and more participants, it's possible to build a complete and accurate database of all possible dream scenarios. However, this requires an apparatus that can measure brain activity more precisely. This is exactly what a team led by Dr. Moran Cerf in the USA is developing. They're searching for a device and its characteristics to not only detect active brain regions, but even individual functioning neurons. According to Moran, dreams aren't limited to images alone, and he aims to explore other parameters including voices, smells and tactile sensations. He believes that all brain regions, regardless of wakefulness or sleep, are interconnected and humanity will eventually create a device for dream reading which, in his words, is just one step away from mind-reading. 
Modern scientists continue to astound us with innovative ideas. The examples provided show that the world is truly in constant flux, even if these processes are hardly noticeable to us. Who knows? Maybe in a few years, someone will invent something that amazes and astonishes all of humanity, potentially altering the course of history. All we can do is watch and wonder. Thank you for watching.